Hey everyone, Brian Beeler coming to you from the Storage View Lab. And today we're talking about the WD Red SN700 NAS SSD. Now, NAS SSDs have been around for a little while. The Red line, of course, includes hard drives as well for capacity needs. But these guys really give NAS users an opportunity to accelerate their workloads. Now, how that happens is dependent on the brand. Synology has a different philosophy than QNAP, for instance. But in either case, these are Gen 3, PCIe Gen 3 SSDs that range all the way up to four terabyte in capacity. Now we've got two of the four terabyte models for our testing. They do go all the way down to 250 though, if you need something a little more modest for your needs. Most people aren't going to require two four terabyte drives, but hey, you know, at 480 bucks a piece and the fact that uh, WD sent them to us for review, we're happy to take the bigger capacity. Now, when we talk about these drives, one of the first questions we get is Gen 3, is that a problem? And it's really not. Even though Seagate came to market with a 525 product that's a Gen 4 SSD, they're using a not quite legacy, but a little bit older controller with a Fizon E16, and the performance profile really just isn't that great. So even though they've got the Gen 4 interface and on paper it might seem to be faster, that's one strike against them. The other thing, the NAS vendors aren't using Gen 4 in their systems. They're all Gen 3. We've talked to Synology. They've got no plans to add Gen 4 anytime soon. And QNAP just has one system that they're looking at, uh, at adding it in on, and that's more of an enterprise class or SMB class system. So for what it's worth, the SN700, even though it's Gen 3, is still really snappy using the SanDisk component tree on the board and delivering uh, a really great performance profile, as we'll see. The other thing to think about, too, in terms of what you want to do with the drive and how much capacity you want, is what do you want out of these things? Now, uh, Synology does a really good job of making it easy to just drop these in. And in fact, many of their systems have two little doors on the bottom. So when we flip it over, open the doors, you can just drop these things in, close the little plastic doors and be off and running. Uh, using these as a cache. You can't use them as a volume and there is no tiering option available currently with Synology. Now with QNAP, you get a little more versatility. Uh, they're a little bit harder to, to get into. You're gonna have to take the case off of most of the tower units and kind of get in and, and, uh, and put these in. It's not impossible, it's not even that difficult, but it is a little more effort. To be fair, some Synologies will also require an add-in card to add a caching drive or require the case to be pulled off but the uh, more consumer uh, Soho type NAS from Synology, really easy to just drop in and go. But like I said, QNAP will let you use these as cash tier volume, so you get way more flexibility. Uh, other NAS vendors do different things. You'll just want to understand what NAS you have, what your objectives are, and that'll help you size and figure out how much performance you need out of these drives. Now looking at performance, we can see a number of really great things from the SN700. In 4K read, we see just under 500,000 IOPS, uh, random 4K, fastest even against the Gen 4 Seagate. So that's what we're talking about when it comes to interface. Even though we're on Gen 3 here, it doesn't really matter. It's the quality of drive that really stands out. As we look at 4K random write, we saw 70,000 IOPS, which is kind of middle of the pack. Sequential read, we saw just under 3 gigabytes a second, which was the one area that the Gen 4 advantage came through from Seagate. Uh, the, the straight raw numbers really can still be uh, a benefit in, in Gen 4 drives. Sequential write, we saw about 500 megabytes per second, which again led the pack in our VD bench tests. Now these tests were all done in a server to really get the peak performance that the drive was capable of. For shared storage performance, we dropped these guys into the QNAP TVS 1288X with two of the drives in RAID 1. Here, we saturated the two 10 gig connections in sequential in just under 300,000 IOPS 4K random over iSCSI. So overall, these drives did really well in our testing, both in server, if you wanted to go that way, and in the QNAP NAS, which showed performance enough to saturate the, uh, the NICs. So as you see that and kind of think about what you want to do, those are diff different factors to uh, to consider overall what's our take on the wd red sn 700 uh, for its class it's the best out there there's there's nothing else we've seen uh, from seagate even from synology's own drives uh, that can stand up to these so if you want the best this is it for your nas thanks for tuning in